Well, I think I'm going to order a new bike. No. Why? I'm kind of tired of living in the past. I think with new technology, I'd have more fun. Y yeah. But you know everything about this bike. You know all the little nuances. I mean, you know what gear to be in on what type of terrain. I mean, you don't even have to think about it. It's just, it's automatic. You've got everything set up where it's as comfortable as you can make it. Yeah, I still have fun on that, but I'm not gonna live forever. I'm 65 years old. I wanna try something different, get up to the new technology and have fun. That's what I want to do the rest of my life is have fun. It's your money. If it's your money, do what you want. So I've got it mostly put together. I still have to torque stuff and then set it up. But the first thing I notice is it's not the same color that I saw on the internet. It's, it's, I still like it, but it's not quite as olive green as the internet showed. The second thing I see, looking down at the frame and everything, it's freaking huge. Well, okay. It's huge and it's heavy compared to the cross country bike. They are both a large frame, but you can see the difference in the geometry from a cross country bike to the trail bike. It's very noticeable and I can only imagine the ride will be noticeably different. Well, the first impression I get sitting in a saddle is that front wheel just sticking way out there. That could be mostly because it's a 29 inch wheel and I'm more familiar with riding a 26. Uh, it doesn't, it's not as snappy as my cross country bike, the track. But it's also based on the fact that it was so much heavier out of the box, it doesn't feel heavier yet as I'm pedaling. So that's good. It's a lot smoother over those little ledges. We'll get some pretty fast little sweeping turns. And it goes through the sweeping turns. Nice. Okay, we're coming on a little bit of a rocky trail. Trying to run the exact same line. I run on the cross country bike. Okay, so far I can see that, yeah, the 29 inch wheels and the trail bike geometry handles those rocks better. Yeah, 
I never could do that on my cross country bike. I had to swerve around that. So, yeah, that's good. Okay, this is a, a gradual climb. Nothing steep about it. It's continuous up and it's got a couple of little switchbacks. So I'm not a strong climber. So I'm gonna do it. When we get to the top, I'll tell you what I think. top I feel like I had to work a little bit harder <sighs> Whew. certainly out of breath but when I look at the timer it's not any worse at all it's right in there with the time that I've done on my track yeah shifting when you going uphill is kind of clunky on this thing maybe it's me and I need to shift with a little less power on the pedals But running it just like I ran the SRAM on my track, yeah, this one is a little clunky. Well, it does inspire a little bit of confidence on the down. 